What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. In this week's festival playlist you can unlock this, the Rossian Q1. You might remember this car from Forza Horizon 4 where it got crazy amount of engine swaps and super high downforce and it weighed basically nothing. This made the car super fast and it was one of the fastest cars in Forza Horizon 5. It's out now in Forza Horizon 5 and we're gonna be checking it out, see if it's fast here too. And yeah, let's go unlock the car straight away. And grab a quick photo. Let's go. The Rossian Q1 is unlocked. There it is. Unlocked. Let's check it out. 450 horsepower and only 1.2 tons. That's super light with a lot of horsepower. Let's get in it. Let's check it out straight away. Ooh, here it is. With the Q1 on the radiator on the back. Ooh. It looks nice. This car. Whoa. It's actually pretty fast stock. Interior. Yeah, 2000 the vibes in here. And uh, whoa, I have uh, I have damage on what? Here, there's no damage on now. We will drive 450 horsepower, so it should be pretty quick, and it feels super lightweight already. Let's just go straight away into a race. Let's go. First race here. Completely stock car. 450 horsepower work, come on. It's only a 3 liter, so... The engine displacement isn't that big, but... It's still 400 horsepower from a 3 liter. Or I guess it's a 2.9 liter engine, but yeah. We round up here. Already up to P6, 7. Are breaking. Oh, I just ran the AI. Come on, move. Why did I go in reverse, Gary Arno? What are you doing? What is the AI doing over there? Yeah, we lost a lot of time. <laughs> Let's see if we can catch up to the other guys. Uh, P8 right now. Whoa, this car just turns in super quick it's super light so only 1.2 tons the grip is a bit bad from the tires i would say we need to upgrade those definitely but otherwise you can definitely this car is probably also insanely fast in this game one of the fastest cars in forza horizon 4 we are catching a bit to the guys in front. Let's see if we can get them 60% through the race already. On pro difficulty also. So it will be hard, but let's see. Look how nice it takes the corner. Oh, oh. What, I've, what I have seen and heard, this car is like a supercar but a lot cheaper. Uh, if you, well, I saw like uh, you maybe want a Ferrari and McLaren or Lambo, uh, but you can't afford one. Get this car. It's uh, basically it feels the same or even faster, but. Uh, it's only like half the price or something like that. It's insane. So yeah. And it's also super good in the game with amazing performance. And I guess it's like that in real life too. So yeah. Super cool car. I have never heard the brand Rossian before this. Uh, before I got it in the Forza Horizon 4 actually. I have never seen even a car but yeah. Super nice. Let's do some upgrades, whatever, but I've been waiting for. Let's do the upgrades. Upgrades and tune. Let's go. 
Let's first check out the engine swaps. Only two, oh my god. I believe in like Forza Horizon 5, I believe there was four. I don't remember, but you can swap in super fast engines and make the car super fast. But yeah, we got the stock free later into a racing V12, that's what I'm talking about. And that's even lighter, 100 kilos lighter. And a racing V8, oh. I feel like we have to go with the V12 actually. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's see what more twin turbos on that, yeah. All real drive, we need it. <laughs> We're just gonna max this car. 4 zero. a bit unfortunate, but uh, performance will go over looks here. Semi- Oh, wait, it was already on street. No, it's already on semi slicks, okay. Ooh, that's why the- But the still- The grip wasn't that good. It's- Ah, uh, maybe only because it was 225s in front, yeah. Let's uh, make the tires super wide, front and rear, and uh, get some spacers on. Look at that fitment, boom. Could go a bit wider, I would say, but yeah. The game chooses, I guess. Some nice rims also, come on. Ooh. Let's take these uh, Warsteiner wheels and just max the engine, see how fast we can get this car. Stock, it was already S1 813, so now we can get it up to, let's see. Maybe even X-Class weight. This car might be as OP as it was in Forza Horizon 4. Yeah, we're one point away, away from X-Class. Should we get a roll cage? It increases the weight a bit. It's got more than a 1 to 1 power to weight ratio. Oh. And the clutch. Oh, it actually goes down with race transmission. Let's do it. It just helps. And... Race stiff, yeah. You can't this car get this car into X class, yeah. It's stuck. It's the top of S two class. You can't get S one, hello, or uh, X class. I mean, <laughs> uh, yeah, top of S two. Whoa, it's fast. You, uh, you actually might be able to get this car into X-Class with uh, the V8. I'm not too sure how much horsepower that engine can make, but uh, 1,100 horsepower in this engine is crazy alone. So uh, let's check this out first. <laughs> And it turns as well. Not super good in these high speeds, but in the night, up against a 918 and a X5. Let's see the acceleration. Why did I short shift? And here we go. Maybe should have picked a longer race, already 10% through. Whoa, it turns. Pass the Bugatti. Just the most in front. Whoa. Whoa. Traffic. Look on the brakes, it just stops. And then on the acceleration. Ooh. Look at this cornering speed. 
super high grip. My setup I have here understeers a bit, but we are still in first. Whoa, the traffic just came out of nowhere. Blind corners. Look at this. 320, 40, 50 taking air. Oh my god. No braking through this. Insane. And to the finish line, gapping the Mosler. 400 kilometers an hour. Oh, that's insane. Yeah, this car is crazy. Let's see if we can get it X class. I wanna try. Uh, it's probably the most OP in uh, S2 class, but if we can get it X class, let's check. Here it is. X class. Made it silver. That looks nice. Whoa, it's fast. Let's do another race, but this time next class. And see if it's. I believe it's probably gonna be the fastest in S2. I believe the next class it's a bit uh, uh, underpowered, maybe under downforce, something. Uh, yeah. Actually, full zero on this car doesn't look terrible. Looks all actually all right. I believe it's because uh, the car looks kinda homemade, you know. It got that vibe to it. And uh, I'm not saying I, I I don't know how these are built, but uh, it looks like a more simple design. It's not super uh, curved on the edges and all that. In the rain as well. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, we are. Oh, we need to change the gear ratios. I forgot. We're maxing out. Let's see if we can win either way. The gears are a bit short, so we will reach our top speed on a stray. How oh, is a C8 Corvette leading? It's not even the CO, CO1. CO6. Yeah, the gears. Come on. It would be super ahead of him. Whoa, that cornering speed. I didn't even break it for that corner. And it just took it like a champ. Look at this. When I'm not maxing out my gears, I'm catching up. <laughs> what can do with better turning? I don't know. You would probably need to punch in the setup to get better turn in and uh, more grip on the front axle because it just understeers if you go on the throttle but it's just rumber banding come on nearly missed that checkpoint too Oh, understeering into the wall If I haven't, if I didn't screw up my gear ratios, I we would have won that easily. But yeah, still amazing to get P2 and maxing out through the whole race. <laughs> we could probably go like 400 kilometers an hour, but we just went 320 or what we came up to. And yeah, P2, not bad, not bad. And yeah. That's pretty much it for this video, so don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one, bye!